Hello fellow YouTubians, my name is Terry Andrews Jr., also known as J5Guru. You know, all right, so, uh, so I was gonna, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, last thing, I gotta put the uh, bend in here for the bottom, and I already did the other two. Uh, my uh, teammate Kyle, when he did these, he, uh, what was it he said? Um... He said the slight bend uh, there in the bottom of the cradle base uh, is very easy. Um, he clamped it. Uh, he said clamp pretty much anything to it. Use the block of wood and bend it by hand. Uh, yeah. So I was like, okay, well, yeah, maybe I'm overthinking this. So uh, let me get my video back up here so I can see what I'm doing and make sure it's still recording. And, uh, yeah, apparently I'm still recording. So. As I said, you're going to have a nice warped piece. Oh, yeah. Like I said, don't worry about that. Okay? When you're done, you're going to end up with something like that. Okay? Reasonably straight. Yeah, not a problem. Sorry if the camera isn't. Well, I'm in the way of the camera. But okay, so... Here we go. So I have a piece of uh, iron or uh, steel here. This is from a uh, small folding machine I have. But uh, anything with a nice, you know, that's nice and thick with a nice straight edge, yeah, it will work just fine. Um, and then I have here just a piece of uh, steel, quarter inch steel. Um, this has rounded edges so it doesn't suit itself as much. So uh, on the edge where you're lining up, uh, this piece, you, you want to have a nice kind of sharp edge on there. So, yeah, just follow along with me. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to line it up with the center line uh, about like so, something like that. Clamp those two pieces together, and uh, yeah, and then we'll move on from there. So let me show you how this is done. So first thing I need to do is I need to make sure I have it oriented right so I have this piece facing me because I know it gets gets uh, bent back that way. Okay. So this bend this way. Okay. And then this bend goes out this way. Oops. So sorry if I'm in frame here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these together temporarily, just like this, with some clamps, just to kind of hold everything in place. This is the bear skins and stone knives way of doing this, but uh, I've done two of them. It works just fine. Uh, so. Okay, now I gotta do my magic here. I gotta be able to see what I'm doing. Move that up, 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 up. Good. Up. Come on, baby. Up, 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 up. Right till I hit that center bend line there. Center bend line here. I like to be precise about this. Okay, that's looking pretty darn good. And I'm just throwing this into my vise just like this. And I will clamp this down like that. And now I will double check. Make sure nothing has shifted on me. All looks good. Crank down my vice good. Now the secret sauce. Yep, clamp it up. Don't be afraid to put the clamps on it. Okay. There we go. What we want to do is we want to bend that piece, this one, without bending anything out here. Okay. And try to hold it this way. Put this one here. There we go. Crank that puppy.
two down. Same thing over here. Ready. Good there, good there. Can release these. And for good measure, come out here to clamp these ends. There we go. This one. This way. And there's two. All right. Hear that? Oh, yeah. Nice and tight. It's tight, tight, tight. Make sure I've got my alignment still. Everything looks good there. Uh, yeah, so some people are going to wince at this. Uh, I got a nice piece of steel here, a parallel bar, um, an old parallel bar. But yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a little tappy tap tap. So I just, uh, sorry, I know I'm kind of in the way here, but you know, I'll try to stay out of the way. Uh, there we go. Since this is annealed, Okay, and I've looked at the CAD, and I know the CAD states that it should be about 290 thousandths from this corner to this corner lengthwise. So I get out, and I'm at 200 thousandths there. This is hard to do while filming, folks. And uh, about 210 there. So, oh, give her a couple. Looks like that one needs to go out just a hair. Yeah. What are we at now? We're at 240. Here we go. 270-ish. A bit more on this side, so I'll just move this way. Just give it a little love tap. And I'll move down this way. I think it was at 270. Yeah, it's really big that it's annealed. It's really quite pliable. Okay, so I'm 270 there. And About 285 there. Uh, yeah, from here I'm just going to give it a little tweak. So I know I need to go 15 thousandths here. A little bit of pressure over here. Tiny little bit. Doesn't take much. What am I at? And 280. Eighty-two. <laughs> there we go. I think that's close enough. Okay. Two ninety-five and a hair bit over at two ten. Back out. Like I said, this stuff's pretty darn easy to bend once it's annealed. And 290. 290 and, and now, yep, 292. Good. Fine. 290 was my target. Close enough. There we go. That's it.
Thank you, Kyle, for the uh, advice there. My teammate, Kyle. Wasn't, uh, I was kind of stressing over it doing that bend without messing up the outsides here. And uh, turns out rather simple to do. Go. Out. Don't drop the steel bar. And there we go. There's our bend. And of course, since it now has a bend in it, it is now reasonably straight. A whole lot better than what it was. There you go, folks. Again, hope that helps somebody out. Alrighty. Talk to you later. J5 Guru saying bye for now.